Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today is after, I think it's Boxing Day 2012. And if you have been on my channel for a while, you may have seen my video where I do an unboxing of the Dell XPS 8300 desktop computer. I've had this computer for a little over a year now and suddenly it started failing. How it failed was the network connection, the network adapter stopped working and it would show in the device manager that that network card was no longer connected or available or working. For a while what happened was if I actually you know, went into device manager and clicked the refresh button on the devices, it was showing the network card again and it was actually working. But after a few more days, it stopped working altogether. Sometimes I had to reboot my computer many times before the network card worked. So I, I went online and I Googled the issue and I found out there was several people or thousands of people or hundreds of people who experienced the same issue with this particular model of computer, the Dell XPS 8300. And the solution that Dell was offering was to replace the motherboard. Well, that's a very expensive operation for Dell. It would be covered under my warranty but they would come and replace the motherboard and give me a new computer. But even that, people were saying that if they replaced the motherboard, the same problem would start happening again in a few months. The solution which I found, which I found online, is to simply buy another network card and plug it into the computer's motherboard and disable the internal Dell network card. After I did this, I bought a, you have to buy a PCIe card, the, a PCI Express card, that's the only kind that will fit in this particular kind of computer. I bought the Intel 1000 uh, megabit PCIe network card, it cost me about 30 bucks. Now my computer is running perfectly again. So I'll put a link below this video to that particular Intel card that I bought. And it's up to you to figure out how to put it in your computer. If you don't know how to open, your, open up your computer and put it in a card, I recommend bringing your, bringing your computer into your local computer store and they will do it for you. But that's how I came across the solution and how I fixed my Dell X XPS 8300 net network connectivity issues. I hope that if you have a similar computer and you're experiencing this problem, it is it does seem to be a manufacturer's defect in this particular model, but it can be easily and quite cheaply overcome. Fortunately, there's nothing else wrong with my Dell XPS 8300. In all other respects, it seems to be a very nice computer very fast, great for video editing. So I don't think it's been a terribly bad purchase, but it is a shame that Dell does not publicly acknowledge that this particular model has a defect and that they only suggest replacing the motherboard with the same defective motherboard, which is not a very good solution. But I guess if you have this particular computer, heed this advice, just get a network card. Don't bother replacing your motherboard. It should be fine. With that, I wish you a great day. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.